I learned that never happen long. These are the other two members who will present their topics for later. Trixie Castilla and Jamaica Capinpin. For the first topic is what is science before revolution? Before the revolution, people and other famous scientists would mostly base their foundings on almost entirely on reasoning. The simple difference on, of rationalism and empiricism is that we use the knowledge based on the use of reasoning or logic when it comes to rationalism. But when we say empiricism, it would only refer that knowledge would be based on experiences and experimentation. An example given, just like the figure below, which the left side is referred to empiricism while the other is rationalism. We humans sometimes strive to comprehend the situation, but many on the other hand are still a mystery for them. We have been able to organize the knowledge that we acquire, but there are still questions whether it is re really the way we perceive or understand it. Going on to the next slide, which will be the scientific revolution. It changed the society's thoughts, beliefs, and behaviors through new ideas and principles. There are important scientists who contributed in the scientific revolution. First off will be Francis Bacon, who was called the father of scientific revolution, mainly because he discovered it. He also discovered the scientific method, which is the six steps, but there are only three important steps. Observe and ask a question, formulate your hypothesis, and test your hypothesis. Next is Nicholas Copernicus. He published the revolution of the heavenly spheres, which mark as the beginning of scientific revolution. In this treatise, he presented the heliocentric theory, which rested on the revolutionary notion that the Earth orbited the Sun. To further explain what heliocentric is, let's move on to the next slide. Models of the Universe Geo, which means Earth. The geocentric model, as we can see in the figure, is the Earth is at the center of the solar system and the planets revolve around it. It was discovered by Ptolemy. On the other hand, we have heliocentric, what helio means sun. This theory argues the geocentric theory, where in the sun is at the center of the solar system and the planets revolve around it. It was formulated by Copernicus. Galileo Galilei is studied physics. He eventually combined his law of physics with the observation with his telescope to defend the heliocentric Copernican view of the universe. Johannes Kepler, best known for his three laws of planetary motion, which explain the orbital properties of planets. Tycho Brahe, he developed the Tychonic system and uh, derived his view of the structure of solar system in which the sun and moon orbited the earth and the remaining planets orbited the sun. The next one is Sir Isaac Newton. He was one of the most, arguably one of the greatest physicists of all time. Sir Isaac Newton articulated the law of universal gravitation and the laws of motion. And this is René Descartes, who invented the Cartesian coordinate system, developed analytic geometry, and laid the foundation for the development of calculus. He also did groundbreaking work in physics, most prominently in the field of optics. Some inventions during the scientific revolution by Galileo Galilei and Sir Isaac Newton. Galileo Galilei improved Lippershey's telescope in 1609. Then in 1668, Sir Isaac Newton developed it into a reflecting telescope which used mirrors rather than lenses. Next is the first compound microscope invented in year 1590. Compound microscope, an instrument to see objects too small for the naked eye. Pendulum clock, invented by Christian Huygens, a 17th century Dutch scientist. The significance of the scientific revolution in the abandonment of ancient and medieval system. In this time, scientific revolution was built upon the foundation of ancient Greek learning and science in the middle ages this is the end of our presentation and here is the sum of the links of our references in this topic